It's 2020, uh, March the 14th, Saturday. It's about quarter past eight. And we're doing Tukop today. I think Tukop is that one sticking out just behind that ridge over there. Um, this is the furthest student accommodation on Sarsfeld campus and we've parked um, underneath the trees. And here's the forest gate going into the forest. And the road splits here in front, up ahead. Um, it can be rather confusing uh, coming to all these splits. There are some route indicators, route markers along the way. Um, the route splits at two points, um, but they, they form circle routes. Um, we're going around the one way, going up, and then we're coming down the other way, coming, coming back again. Uh, it's 20 past 8 on my watch, just 5 minutes down the road. That's where we've come from. Here's the first split in the road to the left hand side. Um, we're not going to take that. Heading straight ahead and there's another split coming up shortly. It's about 20 post 8 and down that way to the left hand side is the Pepsi Pool Road. There's a sign on the post over there. Let's see if I can get it on the video. Over there in the shade it says Pepsi Pools. We're going to the right up the hill and then the road splits again. Uh, come on, let's go. Um, this road over here is a circle route, a small circle. It's not the whole route that circles here. There it says Tirkop 2. You can go up this way. Um, we're coming down on the way back this afternoon. And there should be a sign up here that says Tirkop 1. Here it is. So Tirkop 1. Past the construction site. And this first bit of the path is in shade, but then very shortly, just as we crest the hill, going to go around the bend a couple of times and then crest the hill, and then we get out of the shade and then it's walking in the sun the rest of the way. So if you do this hike, be sure to wear a hat, sunblock, bring sufficient water along, keep cool. It's 25 past 8 and we're just coming out of the shade. This is the last shade we're going to see for a while today. Um, so here's the transition into the sun. It's about half past 8. There's a nice view into the valley. Some rocky cliffs on the other side. I believe that might be the Kaimans River. Yeah, it's just past half past eight. And uh, this is the start of the first little uphill. Little uphill. Mm. Uh, carries on for a while. The kids might want to have a, a rest break, 
somewhere along the way up the hill. Eventually it flats out at the top again. I believe on that first ridge on the horizon there. That's where it flats out again. Incline doesn't look like much at the moment. It's going to increase in steepness a little bit more later on. Um, but it carries on for a while and it can be exhausting. It's about quarter to nine. We're still busy with the incline and it's a little bit steeper than what it was at the bottom. But we're almost at the top. There's a bend towards the right-hand side coming up sometime up ahead. And uh, then it should start leveling out, I think. There's the view of the campus. And the student residences where we've parked. And there's the town. And the Cummins Valley. It's about 5 to 9 on my watch and we're still busy on the incline. And there's the Garden Drew Dam behind the bushes. Uh, let's see if I can get a better view. Maybe there, I don't know. That's about that. That's about as clear as the view is going to get, I think. And still going uphill. Okay, it's just past nine o'clock. Coming up to the top of the incline. And there's George Peak on the left and Craddock Peak on the right. Just a vis visible above the ridge. Turning to the left hand side, there's George in the distance and the Garden Drew Dam still and a different angle on the Sarsfeld campus. That's the way we've come. And then there's Teacup that um, slight hill up there on the horizon. Five past nine and, <clears throat> sorry, there's a, some kind of a solar panel array with a radio reception mast with a whole bunch of um, satellite dishes attached to it on the left hand side of the road going up the hill it's going to be a split here to the left hand side shortly um, there where the people are congregating at the front that is the other end of the circular path around this hill and we'll be taking that on the way back this afternoon um, from now on at this at this point from this point forward um, it's a uh, yes um, from this point forward it's just follow the two-track dirt road up the hill there's a slight decline and then it's going to be an uphill again and the sign over here points the way back to Sarsfeld the way we've come And there's a split to the left hand side, which we'll be taking on the way back this afternoon. And then at the top of the hill, the road splits again. Um, going one way around the hill and the other way around the hill, left hand side and right hand side.
they're beyond the pylons. Yeah, 10 past 9, coming down to the bottom of the dip and I thought that's a nice view of George and Craddock Peak. Maybe it'll look better if I zoom in. It's about quarter past nine and here's an unreadable sign next to the side of the road pointing back the way we've come and yeah I don't know Quarter to ten, and here's a bit of flat at the top of the incline. Well, not quite the top, in the middle of the incline, and then the road carries on up the hill. And at that bend up there, just where it goes around the corner and it disappears from view, there's a split, and that's where we have to decide whether we want to go to the right hand side, to the eastern side, around the around this mountain, or whether we want to do the left hand side, and over there, around the corner. That's okay, about 10 to 10. And that's the way we've come. You can see it's a fair incline. And then here the road splits to the left around the bend or to the right, which we are going to take next to alongside the valley. And here's the Caymans Valley. And this, this path over here is fairly level. There's a slight incline towards the end again as we go up to the, to the hut, to the Tirkop hut. Um, but for most part, this path is fairly level. Okay, it's about 20 past 10 and this is our first view of the hut. I don't know whether it'll be visible on the video, but it's just behind that bunch of trees, clump of trees, that batch of bushes there up ahead, the green hut among the branches in that nick coming down from the hill. And here's the view of the valley. That's about 25 past 10. And here's the hut. 
the grass is rather slippery over here. There's a sign that says this way back to Sarsfeld. It's the view of the valley. Ach and near. Last time I was here, this door wasn't open. Yeah. And we've got three bunk beds. Not in the best condition. Mattress is missing at the top. Okay. Suppose you could sleep here if it's absolutely necessary. And there's the path up the hill. There's a view over the town. And George Peak is in, is in cloud and Craddock Peak is just peeking through. And there's another path going up the hill. This is the path we're going to take back down home again. And everybody is having a picnic. It's about quarter to 11. And uh, some of us are going to stay behind and have the rest of the picnic. And some others of us are going to Go to the top of Tirkop. Liam, come on. Okay, let's go. We can also. Okay, let's take a mark. We can also. So, no, he might have what will up on Tirkop too? No? Great, okay. Just going on to 11 o'clock, it's a little bit less than 15 minutes to the top and uh, there's a panel array again and, uh, and uh, here we have a reading, Tirkop GTR trails dot run 797 meters presumably above sea level and that's the view over the town and George Peak and Craddock Peak are both covered in clouds and over there we have the Garden Road Dam Going to dam in the distance. What the country for your self, you dorps the country. Okay. There's Sarsfield campus and wilderness, Victoria Bay between the heads, and then wilderness to the left hand side and the lake area. And Kaiman's River Valley running down there. I can't really see where I'm pointing on the video. Right, there's the road we came up this morning. That's the view to the other side. The kids are going down the hill already. Um, that's the George Dam wall in the distance. I'll try to zoom in on post production. And that's the Garden Drew Dam. And then Generally in that direction, across the ridge on the other side, there's the old George Dam.
five past eleven on our way back. And there's the hut at the bottom. And it's just past ten past eleven, having come down from Tukop. And the second group we saw this morning have now joined us. They're having a picnic and we're about ready to start going back again. Okay, quarter past 11, we're heading back. It looks like we're getting some cloud cover and it might be a little bit cooler on the way back than it was up the hill. This is Moses. Right. Okay, it's about 20 past 11. Here's the path going off to the George Dam. Over the hill, down into the valley and then up again, up to the dam wall. Uh, it's, it's quite a bit of a walk that way. There's the Dukkop hut, where we've just come from. You can see it's not very far down the road. And then that's the way forward. Around the hill. On and say for my one second, two seconds, three seconds, is a piece on the name. Okay, and then say for when look. Okay, it's about um, quarter to twelve, and we're coming down the hill. We've just reached the bend where we turned off this morning to the right, and we've just come down from the left now, and and we've got some people who want to be famous, and um, here's a signpost of some kind hasn't got anything written on it and there's a path going down the hill it might be a downhill uh, trail run track it doesn't look like a bike track um, I don't know where it goes to but the parents are waiting and we need to start moving on 10 past 12 here's the split in the road there's a signpost that says Sarsfeld that's the way we came this morning coming down the hill and then we turn to our right hand side and taking the other half of the, the lower circle going back home okay it's about half past 12 and we're getting a, a kind of a transition um, between open environment and then trees branching over the road, closing it up. These trees have all been burnt in the fires of 2018, October 2018. Um, but it's definitely closing up around us. Not 25 to 1 and uh, the burnt trees are now turning into green trees. You can see the the branches growing across the way over there in front. Yeah, it's about twenty to one, and uh, coming down the hill. This is where we split this morning. Here's the Tirkop 2 sign. And this is the Tirkop 1 road. This is where we went up this morning. Okay, I'll start. Ah, voorzichtig. Somebody just had a slip. Everybody's okay. And uh, we're going to decide now whether and if and who might be going to the Pepsi pools with us or not or however. Pepsi pools, Pepsi pools is this way. And the cars are that way. <laughs> okay, it's about going on to 10 to 1 and this part of the group decided we're going to the Pepsi pools. 
the other group, the other half of the group have decided uh, they'd rather go home. They have some visitors and they still need to do some shopping and some of the some of them have tired feet and, and so here's the Pepsi pool sign and here we go <laughs> 10 to 1 split in the road this is the the circle to the Pepsi pools we're taking the left way down and then at the Pepsi pools at the Pepsi pools we're going to come back around and then come out this way again and we want to be famous still going on to 521 and there's the quarry on the left hand side road turn offs there this is the way ahead we're taking the right hand side here that's the way we've come. Yeah, it's just about one o'clock. And there's a window on the dam. And we are throwing rocks. And everybody still wants to be famous. And there's a canoeist. A canoeist. Okay, come and stop. It's five past one. This left turn off is not the one we're going to take. And the left turn off that we're looking for is just ahead. See here. It's about 10 past 1. Here's the turn off. The Pepsi pools. Looks like the kids are feeling a little bit more tired. They should be rejuvenated very quickly when they realize that we're pretty much at our destination. Here's the sign in the bushes with a Pepsi logo and a blue arrow pointing that way. Whoop. Almost tripped. Yeah, it's up a bit of Buddha. We still want to be famous. Okay, it's going on to quarter past one. Um, it's possible to swim here, but there are dangerous currents, be aware. Don't slip. And we've got another family here, another group of people. Oh, 
Okay. No, I think I see something. Okay, tricky. Leg over, grab. There's a foothold on the ground on that root and lock in there. Hold the tree stump. Add that leg over, uh, step down. And over here, there's a foothold on that root. And then step down deeply. There we go. Oops. Many gnarly roots. Slippery rocks. Grab a tree. And swing through. And lots of fun in the water. Can you hear Huh? 
ごいいい感じね。えー、ラオナロンコン。どこだいのマニカン。ザロッタ。Ja, nou het is een blijde toch wel een story. Ja. Nee, nee, wacht, hier is voor Nee, maar Wacht hier. Nee, 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 Yeah. I'm going to go near you. Boy, I'm going to lock him back. 
It's about 5 to 2. We've had a nice long break at the Pepsi pools. And here we come. Liam, Liam. Yeah, Liam. Hello. Ah, was it? Long to sweet. Ah, lots of sweet. Dude, come. Let's stop. Ik moet niet zo moeilijke vragen vragen. Ik 
Ich bin gerade drin. 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 Ich bin 20 past 2 and we are back at the at the split this is the road that we didn't take <laughs>